Hi everybody, it's Gemma, welcome back to Pampered Wolf. If you love Hourglass, this is a really important video for you to watch because this may either make you spend a lot of money or save you a lot of money. Today we are going to be looking at the Ghost Palette versus the Sculpture Palette. If you already bought the Ghost Palette last year in 2019 because I raved about it, do you actually need the Sculpture Palette which was released for Christmas 2020. We're gonna be going into the similarities, the differences, not only in the larger palette, but also in the mini palettes as well. I'm really sorry if I'm dazzling you with these. They will make these things with a mirrored front. If you are new here, hi, my name's Gemma. I am a qualified esthetician and lover of anything beauty, skincare and makeup. I upload videos on YouTube on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays at 8pm London time and I'm also on Instagram if you fancy checking me out over there. It's at Pampered Wolf, all lowercase, no spaces. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button for any reason, I would really appreciate it if by the end of this video you will click that subscribe button and come and join the Pampered Wolf pack. We are a really really friendly bunch, you definitely won't regret it. Also, if you wouldn't mind clicking on that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads, and you do need to make sure that your notifications are turned on for YouTube, otherwise you won't get notified. So in this video, we are only gonna be concentrating on the Ghost Palette and the Sculpture Palette as these are the two palettes that I own. I do know that there are some similarities in a past palette and I will mention that in this video, but for the purpose of this video, we are really only gonna be concentrating on the two. So this is the Ghost Palette and this is the Sculpture Palette. Both of these palettes are not only cruelty-free, but they are also vegan as well. They both are beautiful on the skin. They sit nicely on the skin. They melt into the skin. They just, oh, they're just absolutely beautiful. But as you can see when they are side by side, they both look very, very similar. So I'm gonna swatch these for you and show you that actually, even though they are very similar in the palettes, they are very, very different on the skin. So both of the larger palettes, as per usual, have six pans in there and the mini palettes have four pans in. Now the mini palettes look completely different to one another. We're gonna go into the mini palettes a little bit later on in this video. We're gonna concentrate on the larger pans to start off with. Just a little bit of information though, if you were unaware, the ghost palettes are no longer available to buy. Both of these collections, the Ghost and the Sculpture Palette, were limited edition. So if you want them, you are gonna have to get them quite soonish. So let's look at the larger palettes first. This one's the Sculpture, this one's the Ghost. The Sculpture, which is available to buy now, will set you back 81 pounds, which is rather pricey, but Definitely an investment, and for me personally, it's worth every single penny of the 81 pounds, and here's the reason why. These are absolutely phenomenal powders, absolutely beautiful, melt into the skin, really, really high quality. And if you look at the Ghost palette, which I bought this time last year, so I've had this a full year now, I've used this time and time and time again, and there is hardly a dint in it. So these are gonna last you an incredibly long amount of time, and they are really good quality. And also, if you were to buy these individually from Hourglass, it would cost you a lot more. So this is great value for money if you don't have any of these shades in your collection already. So let's just talk about shades for a second because these do both have two finishing powders in. And this is the only repeat from last year. These two finishing powders are exactly the same finishing powders that you will find in the Ghost palette. So these two right here, in the same position as these two right here and they are both dim light and diffused light. You also get in both of these palettes one strobe powder also on the bottom line and you also get one bronzer, one strobe blush and also one regular blush as well. I think that the Ghost palette is more suitable for anybody with a fair to medium skin tone. These are also quite neutral shades, so anybody either with a warm skin tone or a cool skin tone will be able to get away with this palette. I do feel like you do have to be slightly careful with the bronzer in this palette if you do have very fair skin, 
a very light hand is required with this otherwise it will look a little too much but these can be built up for a more medium skin tone whereas the sculpture palette I feel like you have to be even more careful if you've got a very fair skin tone. I have this on today and I do consider myself to have a fair skin tone so you can get away with this with a fair skin tone but I do feel like this is more suited for anybody with a light to deep skin tone. These can be built up so you can use these with a deep skin tone whereas this one probably not so much. So earlier on in the video I did say that both of these palettes look very very similar in the palette but uh, on the skin they look completely different and I'm going to prove that to you now. Let's have a look at some swatches of these and some videos of the swatches as well so you can see how they are in natural light. So let's go from left to right and I have labelled these for you just in case you want to take a screenshot for your records. We've got dim light and diffuse light which are the finishing powders in both palettes but then we've got two completely different strobe powders which are beautiful highlighters. From the ghost palette you can see it's much more pinky and neutral in shade and then you've got a much more goldy shade in the sculpture palette which is glistening strobe light. Let's move on to the bronzers and firstly from the ghost palette eternal bronze light slightly more matte and slightly paler in shade and then you go to the one that is now available in the sculpture palette which is natural bronze light this is warmer and a lot deeper it also has slightly more of a sparkling but I don't feel like you can see that once it's on the skin. Let's go to the strobe blushes. Firstly from the ghost palette we've got iridescent rose which is much deeper in shade, it's more of a corally peachy pink and then in the sculpture palette this is stunning. It's really beautiful, it's really girly but it's also quite pale in shade as well. So you can build this up but not as much as the one from the ghost palette. So this is strobe vibrant flush. Let's move on to the normal ambient lighting blushes. Firstly the ghost palette you've got sublime flush but then we move on to sculpture and this is mood exposure. This is my favourite blush that I've been wearing at the moment. It's just to die for. So looking at all of those you will see that they are very very different so even though they look very similar in the palettes the swatches don't lie. So let's look at the two mini palettes side by side there's no denying these couldn't be any different if they tried both in shades and also uses because in the ghost palette you got four individual blushes whereas in the sculpture palette you're getting a little bit of everything you're getting a finishing powder a strobe powder a blush and a bronzer now before we go into the similarities and differences between these two palettes let's just look at the sculpture collection side by side for any of you that are wondering do I want both of these is it good value for money are there any repeats within the sculpture collection now it's very important to mention that if you don't have any of the previous limited edition collections from any of the previous years this is great value for money because you are getting 10 completely different products in the pans absolutely beautiful so these are all different there are no repeats within the sculpture collection I will go into repeats in a bit more detail with regards to the mini palette in the sculpture collection because there are some repeats from a palette from a previous year so if you have that palette you won't need this but if you don't have any of the previous palettes these two are fantastic to buy together because you're getting 10 completely different products. So let's just talk about the Sculpture Mini just for a second. This is £57 which again is really pricey it's an investment but it is great quality and also if you don't want to stretch yourself to the £81 of the full size palette although this one doesn't have any of the same shades in it as this one it does come with a little bit of everything so if you are wanting to try out some hourglass and you've just not been able to afford it in the past this is probably the way that I would go. So let's have a look at the Ghost Mini and the Sculpture Mini side by side in swatches so that you can see if you do have the Ghost Mini, do you want to invest 
in the Sculpture Mini as well. Okay, so firstly from left to right you've got the Ghost Mini palette. Surreal Effect is your first shade, then you've got a Strobe Blush which is Brilliant Nude, then another Strobe Blush which is Lucid Glow, and then a normal blush which is infinite flush. And then moving on to the Sculpture Mini, you've got a finishing powder in Soft Light which is absolutely divine. Gorgeous, gorgeous finishing powder. Then you've got the bronzer which is Golden Bronze. This is slightly warmer than I particularly like and it's got a slight shimmer to it as well. Then you've got the blush in Mood Flush. This is luminous but it's more matte than a some of the ambient lighting blushes and I just think it's stunning. Then you've got a strobe powder which is champagne strobe light. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now if you're like me and you choose a palette based on the bronzer that's within that palette and whether it will suit your skin tone, I've gone and put all of the bronzer shades together at the end of the swatches. So you'll see the first one is from the Ghost palette. It's much paler, it's much more neutral in shade. Then you've got the one from the Sculpture palette which is slightly warmer in tone but definitely a neutral undertoned skin can definitely get away with this and I've got this one on today. It's really beautiful, slightly more shimmery than the one from the Ghost palette. And then you've got the one from the Sculpture Mini palette, which again will suit fair complexions, but again, this is slightly warmer than the one from the Ghost palette. Now I did say earlier on that if you haven't got any of the previous limited edition palettes from any of the previous years then these two are absolutely fantastic to buy together as they are all different. However, if you're looking at this palette, if you already have the 2018 full-size palette which is called the Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked palette from 2018 and I'll put a picture of that on the screen for you now. If you do already have that, that is the fourth edition palette. You already have all of these shades because this mini palette is just a rework of that palette. So there is no need for you to buy this if you already have that one. So that's just a little bit of extra info for you. If you don't have that, however, this is a beautiful, beautiful palette. I actually have this shade on today. I just love it. It's so beautiful, it's so girly, and it's just very, very youthful. So if you were considering buying either of these palettes, I hope this video has been some help to you, especially if you already own the 2019 limited edition Ghost palettes and you were wondering whether you actually needed these, whether they were different enough for you to shell out that amount of money. I hope this has answered those questions for you. If you're wondering which one is my favourite palette, I actually don't have one. I love them both. There are certain shades in each palette that I will use time and time again. In the mini palette, I love the blush. I absolutely adore the highlighter it's to die for and also the finishing powder. The one that I won't use as often is the bronzer because it's slightly too warm for my neutral undertone skin. So that's just something to bear in mind. In the large palette, I mean, I just love everything. Absolutely everything. There are no words. Just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So I didn't think after seeing both of these palettes together that I would actually want to purchase the Sculpture palette because I thought they were just far too similar. I was wrong. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's helped you out in some way and hope to see you all in the next one. Bye everyone.